What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to another Minecraft tutorial. Today guys we are back in the docks with this little market stall. Now I've got two variations of this guys and market stalls are something that get very much overlooked in Minecraft. Now the reason I say that is because these are little builds that you can fit into any little gap in your city. So if you're building an area and you just don't know what to do with it, it's looking very open, that too much space, there's nothing there. Go ahead and put in a few of these little market stalls and they will really bring a lot of atmosphere to the area. Now this build is a very simple build guys and it looks much better than the default sort of styled market stalls with the flat roofs. This one's got a nice curved roof so it will add a nice bit of shape and a bit of character. So with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this. Okay guys, here's a quick layout of the market stalls. Now I've got two versions of this. One is a seven by five block space and the other one is a five by five block space. Now, as you can see for the layout, we've got the red one block pillars on the corners, our yellow block, which is a three block gap and our blue block, that is a five block gap. Now, like I said, guys, I'm gonna show you how to build both of these and I'm gonna put all the resources you're gonna need on screen now. But as you can probably tell guys, the resources are fairly minimal for this build. So, that being said, let's go ahead and build it. Okay guys, before we go ahead and get into the build, I just wanted to quickly show you a layout of each of the two designs we're gonna be building. Now, these actually can be changed up quite a lot. Now, as you can see, first of all, the roof. We've gone ahead and used red and white concrete on one, and then green and white concrete on the other. Now, you don't necessarily have to use concrete. You could use terracotta, wool, or concrete. It really doesn't matter. Any color blocks like that of your choice, you can go ahead and use. Now, I've used the spruce wood for the little slabs around the edge and the little sort of bits and details on there. But you can go ahead and use any wood of your choice as well. That doesn't matter. The pillars on the corner, I've used oak logs on one and then stripped spruce wood on the other. Again, guys, you can mix this up and change it as you please. The fences and the walls, you can go ahead and change them. As you can see, I've got I've got andesite walls on one and then cobblestone walls on the other. So feel free to mix this up and kind of blend it in with your area and what you're building. Um, but there is so many variations you can do with this. You really can change up the style of them and blend them into any sort of environment. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get straight in with the build. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the large version of the market stall. And for this one, I'm gonna use the white and orange terracotta for the roof. But guys, you can use any terracotta, concrete, or even wool for the roof, whichever one is easiest for you to gather up. Um, but with that being said, we're gonna start from the left hand back corner and we're gonna grab our oak logs. We're gonna place two here, leave a five block gap to the right, place two here. Come down, leaving a five block gap, place two here. Leave a five block gap to the left and place two here. On top of these, we're gonna place our white terracotta with a spruce fence on top. Now go ahead and grab your secondary color and we're gonna go ahead and place one on each side of the fences here. Do the same at the back. Just like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and place one on each side of these like so. And then get your white terracotta again. We're gonna place one on the insides for the back there, and then place them inside your front and rear of your tent like this. Now, we're gonna go ahead, and get our orange terracotta here, place one here temporary, and then move it over and place one in the center. Let's do the same at the back, just like this. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bring up another orange terracotta just here. We're gonna bring it over to this one, one over to here. So we're sort of creating a sort of arrow at this point facing that way. And then we're gonna do it over on this side as well. So bring one down to here, one in here and here, and break this one. So you get a kind of diamond shape. In the little corners here, we're gonna go ahead and place our white concrete. Just like so. Then inside here, we're gonna place some white concrete in all of the corners and then in the center, an orange one like so. 
Then we're going to get our spruce slabs and we're going to go around on all the sides and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put a slab here, one over and then break the top one. Do it around here, one here, one here, break that one. One here, one here, break that one. One here, one here, break that one. And basically you just want to make sure it's on the top half of this block all the way around, okay? Okay, once you're done, we're going to start from the front here and we're going to place one on that lower piece of the concrete there. Then we're going to go up here, place one underneath here and then one out like so. Then we're going to go down, down, on the corner here, up, down, on here, up. Then we're going to place one under there, one out, one here, one here. And just repeat that same pattern all the way around. And then once you're done, go ahead and break those two slabs just underneath the back there. Now, get your spruce stairs. And at the very back of the build, we're going to go one, two, and three, all facing the same direction. Face the opposite way, one, two, three. And then we're going to connect the stairs together like this. So we get a sort of kind of like a desk shape. And we're going to do that all the way across to there. Break that one. And then in the middle there, we're going to put an orange terracotta just to blend in the top of the roof. Okay, that's looking good. Now, on the inside here, we're going to place spruce fences on each of the right and left hand side. And we're going to put in a spruce fence gate in the center. Then we're going to get our spruce stairs again. Place one facing into this pillar, one facing into this pillar. And before we put in the center here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put a stair here, a stair here. Underneath this edge here, a stair and a stair. And then under here, stair and a stair. Just to cover up those little corners. And then we're just going to bring the stairs across like so. Now get your cobblestone wall and where you have your logs, you want to place one on each of your corners all the way around. just like this and then of course get your spruce fences and then go ahead and place one on top of all of those now the decoration at this point guys is entirely up to you so for starters let's go ahead and add a little bit of light so underneath here we're going to put a lantern just like so and then you probably want to go ahead and place one on the sides as well, just un above your fence gate here on this concrete, like that. Then for the inside, we're going to jump over this little edge for now. And then we're going to get our barrels. We're going to place a row of them over here, so it looks like they've got a load of storage in here. Let's put a chest up here. Uh, perhaps some item frames across here. And on here, they can show some items that they might be selling. Maybe something like that which looks pretty good on the counter let's go ahead and place down two frames maybe we could be selling melons and pumpkins in this one like we did with the other one so let's go ahead and just do something like that so they're angling towards each other we could put a flower pot there and yeah i think that looks good let's go ahead and take a look there we go a nice little market store and you can even go ahead and put another little pot just on the side there if you wanted to you could put some flowers in there you know there's so many different ways this can be decorated we can get rid of the flower pots and go ahead and put a trap door on the side here if you wanted now with that being said guys let's go ahead and build the smaller version okay guys on this one i've gone ahead and changed the oak out for some stripped dark oak logs and I've also gone ahead and changed the terracottas for the roof to white and cyan color just to see how it looks. Uh, but the build is done almost the same. So we're going to start from the back on the left hand side. We're going to put two of our dark oak, our stripped dark oak there. Leave a three block gap. Place another two. Leave another three block gap. Place two. And a three block gap here and two. And then of course on top we're going to go with our white concrete. And then on top of that our spruce fences. Now this one, like I said, is slightly different. So we're going to literally just go a cyan terracotta, I believe it is there. Another one here. Do the same at the back. 
And then also on the inside gaps here, we're going to do exactly the same. And then of course, we're going to go ahead and fill that gap with the white. Now we're going to go ahead and put white in on the corners here. Then we're going to get the cyan, place one there temporarily and then one in front of it, break that one. Let's make a plus shape in the center, break the middle and then put a white one in there like that. Now, let's go ahead and get our slabs again. And we're going to start from placing one on the top corner here and then bring it in by one, break the corner. One here, one in, break the corner. We're going to do that on all four sides, exactly the same thing. Once you've done that, you're going to place one on the bottom of that concrete of the terracotta there, one on the bottom of that one, one on the bottom of that one. And we're going to do that again on all four sides. So just repeat the process all the way around. Okay, let's head to the back of the tent this time again. And we're going to place three stairs going up. Three stairs upside down again on this side. And then a normal stair in the centers. Then again on this side, on the front, place one stair there, one stair there, make sure they're upside down, and then, then in the middle, one like that. Now if we walk onto the inside here, we're going to go ahead and on this one, we're going to actually do it slightly different. So we're going to put a stair upside down on all of these, on the edges. So basically on all of the con corners where you can see that white concrete, you're just going to cover it with a stair. So the stairs on this side are facing in towards each other. So you're facing away, the same on them ones and the same on these ones. Now, what I've done here, there's two different ways you can do an entrance. First of all, you can keep it nice and simple. Put some trap doors here and here, trap doors here and here. Okay, and you can just stick one in the center there as well if you wanted to, and you can leave it at that. Now on the other side here, I'll show you another thing that I've done, which I think is quite cool as well, is a very similar thing. The only difference is we're going to put two of our strip blocks here. We're going to put a trap door in the center like that, which we can flick up and down in order to get in and out. And then we're going to go ahead and get our trap doors again, put one in there, one in there. And there you go, guys. It's simple as that. Nice and easy. You know, it's, there's so many different variations you can do for making entrances at the sides of these tents. It just depends what you're sort of looking for. So for this one is going to be a flower store. So let's go ahead. We're going to get in. If we walk around the sides, we're going to put in some of our barrels at the back there. Let's put in some item frames. Maybe we can show some flowers that we have for sale. Now we're going to just mess around with the same flowers here, but you can put in all different flowers if you wanted to. We're going to put a lantern underneath each side here where the white concrete is just to brighten it up in there. And to be honest, you could probably get away with one lantern in here if you really wanted to. Probably one lantern underneath there. Let's break those ones for a minute. That one would probably be bright enough to keep it lit up more than enough on the inside there. So probably go ahead and do something like that. I think it'd be a little bit better. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab our trap doors again. So let's get trap doors on the fronts here. Let's go ahead and just do something like that on the very front. And we nearly missed it out, by it, guys, but let's go ahead and get some of our cobblestone wall. We'll place those on the corners of all of the logs. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead and put in our fences on the top. There we go. And then that's about it, guys. You could go ahead, maybe put in a flower pot on there. We could put some flowers on there just to show what they're selling. Um, maybe you could even put a flower pot on the floor down here with another flower in it, something like that. You know, just go ahead and make it your own. But I think these little market stalls fit in so well, so well <laughs> into any village or city. Um, they just add such a nice little variety to the area and really bring a bit of atmosphere to any sort of town or village. 
And that just about brings us to the end of the tutorial guys. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.